Hello, welcome to Bentley's Backwards Bushcraft. This is Richard. So this is an update on my uh, lead processing uh, videos. So I have completed melting all those wheel weights down and um, <clears throat> I began forming them into these little ingots right here. And what I was using was this cast iron skillet as a mold. Boom. Alright, and that works it works really well for storage. I mean it's it's a, it's a decent heftiness. It's a large amount of lead. And I did five of them that way. And then I realized well what I'm going to do is I'm just going to melt them down and then I'm going to use this little spoon here and I'm going to put them in this mold and I'm going to make balls out of them and the, the end result are going to be these balls alright now they're not perfect as you can see there right here a little little cap on this one here They're not completely a hundred percent round you, you really wouldn't be able to shoot those out of a, a musket but that's not my purpose at this point so uh, to remelt this would take a lot of time and effort and I decided that wasn't necessary so what I did was this is what I dump them out from this container here and I create little globs like this and then that's when I use maybe about two or three of these globs to form one of these so then I realized well wait a minute just leave them in the glob form and then I can melt those and make the balls from it again these, although are a decent way to store it in large amounts, is really too much for me to be dealing with when I'm making these balls. So I moved to this. Well, this is just downright dangerous. I mean, there's they're sharp edges, it's clunky, it's, although they're really cool. And if you take one of these and just kind of move it around and stare at it, you, you start seeing all kinds of little shapes and pictures and all kinds of stuff in there which is human nature but so now what I've decided to do is to move from this iron skillet mold and move from this globular abstract thing and I'm gonna melt all of this down and I'm going to start just making little spoons like this uh, size to store them this way. So uh, when, when I decide I need to make a ball, I don't have to melt something massive like this and probably get 50, 100 or, or more. I don't know how many balls this would make. And I don't have to maintain storage of something weird like this uh, globular mess. I'm going to simply just make little rounds like this that would make absolutely one ball with a lot of leftover. And maybe two if I got really proficient. So that's what we're doing now. I'm in the process of heating this back up and melting all of this and I'm going to start making these little round molds like this so when I get to that process I will get back with you so what melting these uh, ingots these rounds and then these globular things here down into this smaller thing will do for me although it will create uh, uh, much more to deal with it'll also give me the ability 
to be able to just pull one or two of those and make single uh, balls or handfuls of balls without having to melt enough to make a dozen or maybe even many dozens so that's why I'm gonna go ahead and make them into these smaller uh, smaller half rounds so uh, if you're gonna store them for large amounts of stuff or you have a melter that maintains the heat and you can pour it while it's still hot uh, into your molds and you want to do massive amounts these little things here are, are great for that uh, if you're gonna do small amounts then uh, and you don't have because my heater doesn't have one of those spouts on the bottom that allows me to pour it straight from the container into the mold I have to dip in and do that uh, this does not stay hot enough for me to dip it in and then pour it into my mold it solidifies in here if I don't heat this up so I have to get this red hot every time I pour just so that I can pour two two rounds and um, yeah it's just not really working for me at this point so this way I can put the small rounds in here stick this into the flame get it hot hot enough for it to melt and then pour it into it now again it's basically the same thing I'm doing with this but I don't have to melt enough to make a dozen rounds like I do now one of these here will make a dozen dozen or more round ball and uh, I don't even know how many these will make but uh, these are somewhere between four and five of these put together so there you go just do a little math uh, it's it's a massive amount and I don't need to be melting that much all of the time so that way this way you know like I said this is just going to allow me to be able to melt smaller amounts and keep them in a shape that is going to be uh, easy to deal with uh, like these easy to deal with but too big these are decent sized but they're they've got sharp edges and they're all globby and all different kinds of stuff like that so I'm going to make it more accessible for smaller amounts and keep it in a nice comfortable shape like this by using this little round this little scoop here and we are starting to get melted enough to where we're getting close it's not hot enough quite yet to actually start doing it but we're getting there as a matter of fact I might just go ahead and throw in another one and have two of them melted I want two of them melted before I start dipping in there so again we'll probably have to wait for another 10-15 minutes for that to actually melt down maybe five minutes but regardless you can hear that it's that that moisture There's moisture in the in in that lead and when I dump it in the water it just kind of stays stuck in there and when it melts it releases all that moisture all right so I got two of them in there and it's maybe a little much for this container because it doesn't seem like it's liquefying so well I'm gonna, the bottom part is fine but I think I'm gonna have to skim off some of that and dip into that liquid to get rid of some of that I think two of those globs or uh, or maybe three did I put three in there I don't remember anyway I think it's a little much all right so it's a few minutes later and it's starting to melt so I, I I think we just need to give it time just take a little bit longer for it to to all melt I think I think I put in three of those maybe two but it was a little much okay so I've let it sit for some time and, and it's starting to melt the edges for some reason the edges always seem to take more time so I'm gonna go ahead and 
mush this around a little bit. There we go. Let's try to get that dealt with. Hello. All right. So Michelle and I got in the uh, in there and got on Disney Plus and found a new. Well, at least for us, a, a new Star Wars uh, series called Acolyte, and got to watching that, and completely haven't dealt with this. So let's go ahead, and we're gonna dip in here. There we go. There we go, and we're just gonna go. And hopefully. It's not gonna, not gonna release. All right, it took a little bit of a of a knock, but I finally got it out. So I'm gonna start making these little half rounds, and we'll see how many of those I can get, and it'll be easier to melt and make shot than these larger ones. Alrighty. Oh, that's still a little wet. There we go. So why Michelle and I are sitting in there watching that new uh, series, Acolyte, uh, from the Star Wars universe, I'm melting the lead. And I'm getting these little balls out of them. Once I get them out, I smack the sides just to dent them up, so um, to get all the sharp edges and stuff off. So, so far we got 11 of them, and we're gonna continue. And I'll continue this until I get these all done. Eventually, that'll happen. And we'll see how many of these small rounds or half rounds that we get. <laughs> 